What's up guys? Happy New Year. Greg here at the Vinyl Rundown. This is going to be the drawing for my contest that I ran end of 2019. This is a mini contest within a contest. This is an unusual contest. It's really just a trivia challenge. I asked a trivia question and I asked you to email me the answer to uh, the question. And I've got uh, a half dozen entries here and I'm going to draw from pretty soon, but let me reiterate what the question was. This was inspired by uh, Jonathan at the Digital Gramophone. He asked for a contest where you mentioned five records. So I pulled out five records that had a common theme. I pulled out Karl, Karl Heinz Stockhausen, the avant-garde composer. I pulled out Easy Rider because it was written by a guy named Terry Southern. And I pulled out W.C. Fields, a uh, American uh, comedian, Bob Dylan, Lenny Bruce. Where'd I put the Lenny Bruce record? I don't know. What do those five people have in common? It's a musical connection. And I got some interesting answers. Someone said they all made albums. Well, I just showed you they all made albums. Maybe that was a joke. Uh, they all played in a coffee house. They were all Jewish. Uh, the answer is a musical connection. What musical connection do those five people have? And, um, they're in a very, what's the word, exclusive group of about 40 or 50 people. So to say they all made albums, or they all wrote books, or they're all Jewish, that's millions of people. There's only 40 or 50 people in the world that have this musical connection. And I happen to have records from five or six of them that I showed. So what do those five names have in common? Uh, I'll do the drawing in just a second here uh, to reiterate this is kind of a low-budget contest. The, the, the prize is five LPs of my choice, maybe more, but at least five records of my choice to be media mailed to you. So it's really uh, restricted to people in the continental U.S. for media mail. Canada, maybe. I'm told that Canada is not much more expensive. I'm going to draw three names, a winner and two runners-up. And I'm doing that because just in case the winner... Uh, doesn't meet the criteria for winning. I'm going to check and make sure everybody got their answers in on time. I'm going to make sure they're in a place that I can mail to. I'm going to, and, and they have to mail me your address. If you don't mail me your address in a reasonable amount of time, let's say a week, if you don't mail me your address, I got to give the prize to the number two person. So I'm going to, I'm going to draw three people. Consider yourself all winners because I got six or seven correct entries. What's the answer to the question? Well, Bob Dylan. You've seen Bob Dylan's picture lately? There's Bob Dylan's picture. How about uh, W.C. Fields? I should have looked. Oh, yeah. There's W.C. Fields. Chubby guy with a hat and a big nose. How about uh, Lenny Bruce? I think that's Lenny Bruce right there. Did you guys figure it out yet? Those five people are all pictured on the iconic Sgt. Pepper album cover by the Beatles, one of the most famous albums of all time, one of the most famous cover photos of all time. I would really like to do a, uh, a video series on the biographies of all these people, and that would be, what, a, a four-hour video? Someday we'll get to that, but I think the first album that had uh, all the lyrics as uh, liner notes... A lot of firsts, a lot of firsts and historic moments on the Sgt. Pepper album cover. You know, the artist asked the Beatles, who would you like to put on the cover? Give me some names and we'll, we'll stick them on there. And Ringo said, I don't care. I'm not giving you any names. And George Harrison said, oh, here's some Indian Swamis. And uh, so really, everybody on the cover is either a George, I'm not sorry, either a who are those other guys in the Beatles? Oh, yeah, John or Paul Pick, plus the Indian Swami. So it's fun to kind of look at the cover and say, who do you think chose this guy? Okay. Here's a list of the people that gave me correct answers via email. And I'll, I won't use your last name because I don't know if you make want that public or not. Larry B., Fred C., Mike P. Mike goes by Mike Press on YouTube. Beth at B-Side Records. Gunter Hurtgen, 
Am I pronouncing that right? Gunter, Gunter is in Germany. So I'm not going to mail a big fat stack of records to Germany. I apologize. Chris, the analog brain. And Bill at the vinyl verse. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six uh, entries. And I've cut up an exact copy of this piece of paper into six bits of paper, all the same size, all folded in half. And I'm using a ceremonial Dodger cap, LA Dodgers, go Dodgers, for uh, the drawing vessel. I couldn't come up with a beetle oriented drawing vessel, so. How about the Dodgers? Okay. Chris at the analog brain. I'm putting them in now. I'm not drawing yet. Bill at the vinyl verse. In he goes. Beth at B-side. Is the tension killing you guys? Is this thing on? Mike. Mike P. Yeah, yeah. Mike's in there. Don't worry. Fred C. Larry B. The first name will be the winner. The second two names will be the... I gotta get my paper. Hold on. Oh. I gotta write down the, the winners. Okay. Okay. So you gotta shake it clockwise and counterclockwise. Right hand, left hand. That's the official rules. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Nothing in my hand. Nothing up my sleeves. The grand prize winner, should he be qualified, according to the rules set down by the judges, me, the grand prize winner is Bill at the Vinyl Verse. Bill, congratulations. Can you see that? Bill at the Vinyl Verse. Writing him down. He's number one. He is the official winner. And Runners up, in case Bill is unable to uh, fulfill the duties of the winner. First runner up, Beth at B-side. Congratulations, Beth at B-side. She's number two. And... Third runner-up in the highly unlikely event that both Final Verse and Beth can't fulfill. Here we go. What do we got here? Fred C. Fred, number three. Okay, three. Bill is number one. Beth is number two. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the grand prize winners of my first mini weirdo contest. Bill, Beth, and Fred. So I'm going to contact Bill via email. Ask him for his address. I'm going to check his uh, YouTube channel to see what kind of music he likes. So I can decide what five records to send him. And... That's it. That is a mini trivia challenge contest from the Vinyl Rundown, wearing my official Vinyl Rundown t-shirt, the only one of its kind in the universe. My wife gave that to me for Christmas last year. And um, please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. You can also hit notifications so you can get notified every time I drop a video. And congratulations to the winners. And thank you for entering this little tiny bit of... Uh, Beetle Trivia. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you guys soon and Happy New Year.